News NTV. A very good evening and welcome to this edition of the Fourth Estate, Charles Mongo Shampagi. Tonight we'll be conducting a viewer guided show or driven show where we will uh, open the lines for our viewers to share with us your views and opinions on a number of topics that we'll be discussing. My name is Charles Mongo Shampagi. And uh, with me in studio, I have uh, Ivan Rugambwa. We'll be joined by Joel Senyonyi shortly and we'll be joined by other guests uh, online. But also our most important guest tonight is you, the viewer. Share with us your views and opinions on the topic of electoral reforms that government presented to parliament on Thursday. It's been a long struggle, a long call. Some people have been at this for more than a decade, demanding for electoral law reforms. What government presented on Thursday, the five bills that Attorney General, uh, the, that the Attorney General presented to parliament, do they mark up to the electoral reforms that the, most of uh, the people have involved in the electoral processes have been demanding for, or have they not? How do they align with the requirements or the orders given by the Supreme Court, uh, which required that government presents these reforms uh, as soon as possible? How do they align with proposals that had emerged earlier, both from civil society and the opposition? Now, the reaction from the opposition and civil society has been sweeping, and to some people, the reforms presented by the Attorney General border on the ridiculous. Others are questioning because some of those proposals are keep uh, the, the, the results will be released to only a handful of people, five people from the political parties. Uh, the other proposed reform that has uh, emerged, we haven't seen, uh, we haven't had the benefit of reading the details of the bills because they're only presented on Thursday. Uh, some of those are that. Uh, um, uh, yeah, they will be released to only about five people. Uh, the government is proposing to ban electronic equipment, especially cameras and mobile phones, uh, from the polling area, uh, keep them at a distance. Um, there is a proposal, which I think is progressive, to allow uh, members of uh, the armed forces, the police and the military, to vote at least five days, or within a period of five days before the actual polling day. What do you think, as the viewer? I'll ask uh, production to put up the number. Uh, on the screen so that uh, you can call us and share with us uh, your views. Let me start with uh, you, Ivan Rugamba. Ivan, you're most welcome to the Fourth Estate. Thank you, Charles. You've hosted this show before. You have uh, been a guest on the show. Yes, and please. you're coming back. Very mm. nice to have you. Thank you, Charles. Y you work with uh, GCIC, the Government Information Communication... The Government Citizen Interaction yeah, Centre. Government Citizen Interaction Centre. Yes. Please. What is that supposed to do? Uh, the Government Citizen Interaction Centre is basically a bridge between the government and the citizens. And so what we do is we curate citizen feedback about government performance and raise it with the responsible MDAs, uh, that is the ministries, departments and agencies of government. We have a toll-free line where any citizen can call in and uh, seek clarification or make any queries or any inquiries on government performance on any specific issue. And our role is really to curate and tabulate that feedback and raise it to the responsible MDS. What feedback have you been receiving since Thursday when uh, the Attorney General uh, William Berhanga presented uh, these bills for electoral reform? We have so far not received any specific query about uh, the re electoral reforms, perhaps because it is not yet an official, uh, in, in an official agenda in government to the extent that it has not yet been tabled to before parliament. Most of the concerns we receive are to do with public service delivery and social service delivery and access, uh, whether it's uh, national ID IDs uh, access, whether it is about water, to which particular areas, whether it is about power uh, to particular to particular areas. So we receive a majority of our, of our of the, the feedback. The service delivery. Feedback, yeah, is a service the delivery focus. component. Yeah, mm. the um, service delivery focus. Mm. Uh, but I think that uh, once these, uh, once the the electoral reform, the table, the suggested electoral reforms reach the floor of parliament, go to committee stage, and we go back into a debate, that becomes a mainstream issue of public debate. Then we certainly will have this uh, this feedback from it. But our way of sourcing feedback is not necessarily just about those who call in. We also monitor, for example, social media engagement because most of our engagement is on social media. Social media engagement. We mon monitor feedback about uh, you know government government policies that are being suggested that are being advanced. 
and, and we do try to raise that feedback with the responsible MDAs and to be able to also inform the responsible MDAs in their planning or in their in, in, in the policy interventions, you know, mm. so it can be informed by the feedback or perception or sentiment from the pub from the public, so that the government can be responsive to citizen concerns, citizen needs, and citizen demands. But how many agencies does government create to respond to this? To do to, to do this? How you many have, do you, you know? District are information officers uh, yeah. in every district. Uh, yeah. You have public relations officers in every um, uh, government uh, ministry. It, it in every government department, it uh, every, every agency it has uh, its own um, communications unit. Mm. So how, how many centers does government really need to give feedback to the population? Our, uh, I think the really the, the idea behind, for example, GIC is to, is, I, there is no, there is no disadvantage or there is no limitation to reach. You know, if you're trying to reach as many people as possible, any extra addition or any extra entity that is, is aiding the advancement of that particular cause or that particular idea should be commendable and I think is welcome. The mm -hmm. distinction between, for example, the, the, the spokespersons of AMDAs and, and GCIC is that while, while the mandate of, of individual spokespersons is limited to their agency, to their MDA, to their ministry, or to their authority. So for you, you are the, uh, ours is like a one-stop center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like mm -hmm. Ours is like a one-stop center where we curate this this, this whole feedback. Well, because what's sometimes what's the difference between what you do and uh, what the media center does. The media, the center, media, media center. The, med the government media center is uh, basically just a. It's where official communication of government, in the sense of if there is policy announcement, if a clarification like from a minister or, or official release, they are official spokespersons of government. We are not official spokespersons of government. Mm. At GCIC, what we do is we play a facilitating game. What we try to do is an open government kind of platform where we play the intermediary role between the citizen mm -hmm. and, 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 and the government. So okay. we source feedback, raise mm -hmm. it with MDAs, so we, we do not speak exclusively for government. We also represent the citizen in this, in this, uh, this interaction. Mm -hmm. And our idea is that the citizen should not be disarticulated from the, from the government f which he or she elected to, to, serve, uh, to mm -hmm. serve him or her. Okay, Let, mm. let's, let's move on to the question of um, electoral law reform. Mm. Um, uh, I know you have uh, individual opinions on this uh, mm. that you, you share with us. Uh, but also, um, when electoral law reform has been so demanded for so long mm. and it arrives so late and from what we are seeing so far, from those who have been at this uh, for, for a long time, I hope we'll get uh, uh, Crispin online uh, mm. shortly, um, they come so late and to a large extent, the little that we know so far, mm. so inadequate. Mm. Also unresponsive to what the actual demands have been. The, Charles, the adequateness or, or, or otherwise of the reforms is a, a question of uh, perception, individual perception. First of all, the, the Supreme Court or, or uh, the Supreme Court, the, at least the timeline they gave for the st tabling of the electoral reforms was the end of this month. And the Attorney General has actually come up with this, uh, with the document or the suggested reforms, just towards the climax of this month. So we are so within time of the so of so the, so uh, the electoral reforms. Government electro reform. waits. Mm. Government waits. Mm. The Supreme Court ruling mm. and the orders to carry out comprehensive electoral reforms mm. in 2016. Mm. I know that from as early as 2010, mm. organizations like uh, SEDU. Mm we are already making suggestions and demands that electoral law reform be made. Mm. I know that about 2014, twen yes, about 2014, mm. um, the Minister for Justice and Constitutional Affairs, mm. Kahindo Tafiri, went very late to Parliament and said we are unable as government to table comprehensive reforms for this election cycle. Mm. That's the 2016 election. We'll table them the in next the election. next mm elections. Mm. You wait from 2016 until mm. 2019, mm. but even then you don't come in voluntarily mm. to make the necessary reforms. You spend a whole year running around from uh, September 2017 uh, until I think December. Uh, yeah, uh, the, the, the intense period. Mm. September 2017 to about uh, until December and you pass the Rafael Majesi bill, mm. which deals with only a fraction of the electoral reforms, but to many people, your drive was, was, was uh, a vehicle to deliver the removal of uh, age limit. You wait for a court order 
after petition to the Supreme Court, uh, I mean to the court, for you to table electoral reforms e at the very last minute? Uh, Charles, uh, uh, first of all, there's no last minute because the elections are not happening tomorrow. Or the electoral the roadmap. elections have a cycle, yes, uh, Ivan. Yes. They, they, they have a cycle they may that uh, the electoral commission mm. gave a roadmap. Mm. Yes, but and indicated mm. we need mm. these steps to be taken by the government. I'm, I'm saying this actually for our viewers to join us in this discussion. Mm. Uh, gentlemen, if you could help put the number on uh, production, if you could put the number on so that people can call us. Mm. You, the, the electoral commission has told you to deliver a reasonable election. We need electoral laws given to us at least two years before the election. Mm. They release a roadmap that says these activities must be undertaken by this period of time for us to have a meaningful election. Mm. You don't even listen to that. And then you come in and, and you're saying it's not last minute. Then there is a court order that says deliver these reforms by the end of this period or don't have them. And then you table something. First of all, Charles, mm. what I'm, sa I'm saying is that uh, there, is, there are so many things that the government wants to do or plans to do which for s different reasons some some th some to do with capacity others to do with the with you know with the, the other competing needs of uh, to do with the functioning of government it's incapable of doing mm. but but what um, but my uh, my point is that this is 20 this is 2019 yes we have two years to to the to the next election to the next election we actually don't Yes, okay. We uh, we don't. We if, 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 if you have yeah, one and a half uh, years. If, you have, if you've looked at the, the revised timetable, mm. this is... Uh, this is July. This, this is, is, this is th July 20, 2018. Today the next is July elections. 28th. It, yes. Today is yes. July 28th. Yes. 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 That is halfway the year, most like almost half, halfway when the year. When are the nominations supposed to be? Next year? Yeah. yeah. September next, next year? Yes, yes. So you yes. don't have... So we have a year. We have more than a year to the ele to the nomination uh, the nomination process. When are party primaries supposed to be? Because Those are party primaries must be done mm. before the national election is held. Yes. And, 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 and but party, and, and pri but party primaries are a function or an activity of individual parties. The yes, electoral commission. See, the, the electoral parties, commission concerns itself purely with the national exercise. The national exercise has something to do with the nomination, gazetting of polling stations, nomination of candidates, the officialization of, uh, cam of campaign, uh, campaign period, and then the, the polling day. None of these, uh, the, these, uh, these things have already taken place, mm -hmm. or, or none of these things has already taken place to say that we are beyond schedule. In mm -hmm. fact, you said that last year... Can we have some callers online. Let, let, sorry, let me first pick a caller. Hello? 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 Hello. Yes, your name and where you're calling yes, from, good sir? Evening. Good evening, sir. How are you doing? Good, sir. Your name and where you're calling from? I, I think you are hearing me because yes, I'm not hearing myself inside here, mm. but I will talk. Sure. Now, I think, Mr. Romshana, the debate is being driven in a wrong direction. I'm not because calling. Romshana is not in the studio, sir. When they are brought up, the reforms <laughs> is the most important thing. The most important thing is what is contained within the reforms vis-a-vis -vis what was suggested by the court. Yes. The court had a spirit that the ground should have been leveled. And therefore... Go ahead. We can hear and, you. And therefore, mm. the, the intention of the court, the court said that one of the first things is about how the electoral commission is, is selected and mm. how it comes about because you can't say that the same person who is participating is the one who selects the electoral commission that was one thing mm. now the second thing that was suggested by the court mm. was that the amount of money that is being used we must know it and where the government or nlm is getting their money that they are using those were the two concerns, mm. the key concerns, because mm. it was about labeling the ground. Now, it's like me asking for food and crying for a very long time. Then you bring a poison, and then you start <laughs> claiming that I've given them food. Because look at it like this. Mm. Is the situation now for the opposition becoming better or becoming worse? Mm. If, for example, somebody tells you, look at it, someone, someone comes up and tells you that now in this new law, as it is standing, if it passes, the announcement of the vote will be to only five people. Mm. Now, that's one thing. Now look at it. Secondly, this new law is telling you that as long as it is passed, 
when on the day when the, the, the election, when it is supposed to be there, the people, in, you, you as an independent, you cannot ally mm. with the parties which are existing, which is clearly towards blocking Bobby Wayne or Honorable Chagulani, make, not make an alliance with any other person. Mm. When, you go through, when you go through the reality of this law and as it is coming about, it is making the situation for the opposition much worse than how it was even before. But the intention of the court was to make this much better. Mm. So let us not look at the, sub the form, but let us look at the substance. The substance. This I hear you. Uh, what your name, sir? This is Ankton. Ankton. Thank you, Ankton. Yes. And Anton, my name is not Romshana. We have another call. Do you have another call on the line? Uh, Anton raises some of the issues. Mm, mm. What is the purpose of putting well, out these uh, this laws? First of all, uh, uh, first of all, contrary to what um, Anton suggests, Anton. Anton suggests the function of, of these electoral reforms was not to make the ground any easier for the opposition. Mm. The, el the el electoral reforms or electoral laws are not there to facilitate. The, the thriving of one of one particular group, which is in the political theater competing for political power against the other group. It is to make the playing field fair or even... I thought that's know, what he said. Yeah, but he said that, the, that the, these electoral roads make, make the opposition, make the, the situation for the opposition worse. And yes, that, that, that because is he's not saying... And what what, is he's, saying, the, the what, what he's saying mm. is mm. the incumbent government... Mm from a long time ago, tilted the ground in its favor. Mm. And that the court was giving instructions mm. or orders mm. so that that level is, uh, that, that ground is a but little, but little bit the, 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 the We have another call on line. Hello? 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 Yes, sir. Your name and where you're calling from? I'm calling from Wakiso. Y your name, sir? Wakiso. Your name? Yes. What is your name, sir? I'm calling from Wakiso. I hear where you're calling from. I'm asking for your name. Wamboga is my name. Wamboga, go ahead. Now, Charles, good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Now, Charles, uh, yes. these reforms are being proposed by who? By the government. By the government, which is called the National Resistance Movement. Yes. Government. Yes. And it's a political party, one of the players in the forthcoming elections. Hmm. Can they be any fair? Can they aim at making the playing field fair at all? Mm. So really, one thing, they are throwing a stone in the bush to see what comes up. Because some of them are ridiculous proposals. Very ridiculous. Mm. Secondly... Uh, like what? What, 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 what do you call ridiculous? ...is not to build... Uh, Democrats. The mm. political parties build Democrats because you cannot have democracy without Democrats. Go ahead. Oh, oh, I, do, I, I, is there any particular proposal that you feel um, particularly uncomfortable about that you'd like to discuss uh, with us? Well, the proposal, for instance, to uh, ensure the, the, the security forces vote before mm. others, a day before or so. They are part of the population. Mm. Now, if you should include medical people who work in emergencies. You should include the media that also cover these elections and sometimes are deployed where they are not registered to vote. Mm. You should include other people who serve the public on the election day like the security forces do. Mm. But if you single out security forces, a certain block that is felt by the public to be always voting in favor of one of the players. It does not make sense that it is meant to make the field fair. Mm. Certainly not. Thank you. The, 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 thank you, Mr. Mboga. You, you, you see some of the issues that people are raising. Yes. Um, yes. Anton, uh, Mr. Mboga there. And, and and another viewers. Yeah. So you, you I wanted to make a comprehensive response to some of these uh, some of these issues. First of all, Charles, let me tell you that there is I don't they, this the, an unfair or uh, or a a a weak electoral system that is susceptible to fraud, to manipulation, disadvantages every actor in the political arena. Because I can tell you that in every that every group will try to maximize their, 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 their will try to maximize their power 
in areas where they are strong, which sometimes tilts to rigging and manipulation. The president, uh, people tend to argue that the NRM is the biggest beneficiary of a fraudulent electoral process. Or, but the president has, is on record to complain, first in Luero, I think in around 2013, mm -hmm. then recently in Rukunjiri about uh, uh, rigid, uh, being, being rigged, or the, uh, his mm. preferred candidate being rigged out of a political system. In the, in the uh, of, of an election, mm -hmm. being rigged out of an, an election. I, I have a call online. Hello? 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 Yes, sir. Your name and where you're calling from? Miss Case. Pardon? Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Your name and where you're calling from? I'm Frederick from Masindi. Yes, Frederick, go ahead. I'm Frederick from Masindi. Yes, Frederick from Makerere, go ahead. I want to appreciate the show, but uh, does the guest in the studio consider the fact that after two things? Yes. Frederick, go ahead. You're because saying the guest in the city. Yes. The electoral forms. Mm. They need popularization, and that means enough civic education. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Frederick? I, I think we lost Frederick. I Frederick, if you can uh, cancel the call and uh, call us back. Yes, go ahead. Yes, so I was telling you that uh, the, uh, that an uneven or a, 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 a weak electoral system and weak electoral laws that are susceptible to fraud and manipulation disadvantage every actor in the in the arena because then they cannot that's objectively. Yes, yeah, that's, that's, the, 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 that's the essence. The complaints that by the president, Mr. Mm, Ugambwa, mm. is at best spin, mm. at worst. Uh, Populism. No, 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 no. Because no, no, no. you see, Charles, you wait, cannot wait, say wait, wait, that wait, wait. when other actors the complain, complain the against, complaint the, of the against president, region, the complaint of then the they, are, they are legitimate, and when the president co or complains, then it is yes, at the best spin. Why do you say that? Because he controls the process. He no, he doesn't control system. the process. Because uh, how do you, what do you mean by controlling the process? The president does not take the ballot Anct box of Anct every Anct person who wants to the election. Mm. He appoints the electoral commission. Yes, but... And, and that's, that, that's been a concern. Yes, but that electoral commission is vetted by parliament, Charles, by the people's assembly. Which that is has been mm. a demand for a long time among if you're going to reform electoral uh, laws and i wanted you to remove uh, you remove mm. the powers mm. of appointing mm. the electoral commission mm. from one of the players well let me tell you charles first yes. of all and and, and 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 government has been consistently silent about that the responsibility of enacting laws uh is the is uh, of suggesting laws is, uh, the, the, is that of the executive largely and but the passing is for for mm. parliament and when the NRM government is elected, it is not elected to serve the NRM people only, mm -hmm. or it does not cater for only its interests towards the next electoral cycle. The NRM is also interested in a, a robust electoral process as a hallmark of its democratic credentials. Yes. The NRM accepted and, and, and the President Museveni in 2005 campaigned for the opening up the political space. Mm -hmm. If he had wanted a, a fair advantage or a... a, a a, a unilinear or one, one, one entity which he controls would have said in the movement system, President no, 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 he, he couldn't. He yeah. couldn't. No, you the, can the, argue, you the, can the, argue the, the, the incentives, the incentives and the motivation of no, the, the time. Of the, time. <laughs> the circumstances and the context mm -hmm. demanded that he changes. Where, 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 where? Let, let me tell you. He told you the campaign theme for President Yerim Seveni mm. towards the referendum of 2005 mm -hmm. that opened up the political space. Mm -hmm was not that we need mm. broad participation. Mm. His key word mm. was to the Jekyll. Mm. Let us get rid of them. Mm. And he said in his own words, mm. the reason he acquiesced or he agreed mm. to, make, to, to, to make the transition mm. uh, to liberalization of the political space was not because he preferred it, mm. but actually was because he was receiving a lot of pressure from the West. First of and all, Charles, that is not on record. No, it is on record. No, 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 no. no. It is no, on no, record. No. Charles, we can look for that record. There is no record for the president saying that it was not in his interest to open up the political space that is being he, pressured by the West. Said, that is your own um, interpretation, Charles. No, 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 Charles. it's not. That is your own interpretation. I, uh, uh, Mr. Rugamba, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to help you do your research or put context. No, no, no. I, I'm telling you <laughs> that one of the things, the words he used mm -hmm. were to be Jekyll. Yes, that let can us, be. That let can us be. get rid that can of be those a function of political dexterity no, or no, no, political no. shrewdness for you to rally your base. Charles, if no, you... Who are in the movement 
but don't okay. believe in okay. the direction okay. the movement okay. is taking. Okay. Charles, so let us get rid of Charles, them. Charles, you have probably you have not participated in electoral cam in a, in a ele competitive elections, mm -hmm. but when you are in the campaigns, I have. I have participated as, as a, a candidate. candidate? Uh, no, 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 yeah, 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 exactly, election. exactly. But when you rally election. your base, mm -hmm. there is particular language. Mm -hmm. There is particular language you use to rally your base. When you say you to be Jeko, you to be Jeko, your you're trying to consolidate no, you don't your, base your base to back the particular side you no, are you advancing. And that side was for multi party for no, opening up the political space. You don't rally your base mm. in the middle of a reform process. To make a, le a better electro cycle. Okay, but that, you rally your that base. reform process you rally was your not base. unanimous. There were you people who were anti opening up the political space. That was space. 2005. Yes. You rally your yes. base mm. towards electing you or voting for yes, you. Yes, but I Let's take a commercial break. <laughs> and uh, when we come out of the break, we'll be joined by Joel Senyonyi, <laughs> um, uh, formerly a journalist, um, aspiring to become a lawyer, and now spokesperson of the People Power Pressure Group. One of the reforms proposed is that uh, unregistered uh, pressure groups, um, political parties, cannot ally with pressure groups. We'll be right back. You're still watching The Fourth Estate, and we've been joined by Joel Senyonyi. Joel Senyonyi is a former journalist. He is a lawyer in training and spokesperson of uh, People Power. Um, Joel, welc very welcome to the show. Thank you, Charles. My profuse apologies to you and to the viewers. Um, I've just arrived from Rukunjiri, the, the great land of milk and honey. Mm. Uh, we had a couple of things to do there. I thought I'd be back in good time, but I did not, so... My apologies. You're, you're mobilizing. Uh, you, are, you, are, you unveiled a, 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 what was it called, a task force uh, midweek? Mm -hmm. well, is, is it a task force? Is it a mobilization, the mobilization team? That well, call it whatever you will, but um, no, it's, it's, uh, what is you to give us? it's coordinators. Yeah. It's, uh, coordinators. We, we have begun to properly structure. Mm. And so we have coordinators across the country who are to do mobilization for us. And, we'll, we'll uh, and come into the, and so on. Uh, th that's one of the issues we want to discuss. Uh, mm. But like I told our viewers, the number will stay on the screen so that you can call us and share with us your views and opinions on uh, the topics we're discussing. We're discussing um, the electoral law reforms that the Attorney General William Berhanga presented to Parliament uh, on Thursday. He presented a total of five proposed bills. Uh, the details of those bills are not yet available, but we will discuss them in subsequent shows uh, when we get more detail. But we, we've been able to, to glean out uh, some of the highlights uh, of those reforms that we're engaging in the discussion tonight, and we invite you to share with us your views and opinions. Um, we'll also discuss the coordinators uh, that People Power uh, unveiled uh, also during the week. Well, that was on uh, Tuesday? No, Wednesday. Wednesday. Mm. Uh, on, on, on Wednesday. Um, a lot of debate has followed that, uh, the selection of the people, the poaching from other political entities, what that means, and uh, like Joel has just told us, um, beginning to formalize, to create structures uh, within the people power. Uh, is it a movement? Is it? It's a movement. It's a movement, the people power movement. Mm. Uh, we'll discuss that. And if time allows, we'll have a, a brief discussion on uh, the unemployment problem in the country. Um, you saw those, the responses to very few government jobs that were advertised in the So these guys are creating areas. wealth. Yeah? They, they say they're moving across the country, creating wealth and all these things. Mm. Is mm. it not reaching? Mm. But that is, uh, you don't work on something that is not a problem, you work on a problem. So <laughs> that is acknowledgement of a problem and yeah. the efforts to show that there is something The gentleman speaking is uh, Ivan Rugambwa. Mm. Ivan Rugambwa in his own right is a commentator. He's actually trained as a journalist. Mm. Uh, he's a Mascom grad and mm. uh, uh, spent some of his time at the corporator. Yes. Magazine. Yes. Uh, you, you had a fantastic article mm. on uh, that um, sugar project in Amuru, yes. uh, one of the most controversial, yeah. uh, w w one of those controversial projects in Amuru, private investments mm. in Amuru that has uh, sucked in quite a lot of government uh, money. Mm. But the question of electoral reform, you as people power, you as mm. active players <laughs> in the political field, how have you received them? What do you make of the bills that mm. Attorney mm. General William Berhanga presented? Look, um, when I first looked at these, uh, I'd, I'd like to call them electro jokes. Uh, these are not electro reforms, they're electro jokes. Um, two things. For starters, I was happy. I was happy because, you see, for a very long time, President Museveni and his government have dismissed us of people power, saying mm. they are inconsequential, they are just, you know, a bunch of young people who have no idea what they are doing. 
all of a sudden they've woken up, they have smelled the coffee. They realize these young people here, they are forced to reckon with, how do we stop them? So for me, that's what came to mind. Because when you look at each of these proposals, you'd have to be naive not to realize they're targeting especially people power. So for me, I was happy that finally they have woken up to realize there's, these guys are forced to reckon with. Are you saying that you are the people who have questionable sources of uh, financing that they are seeking to regulate or that uh, the military... You might not want to give us money, um, but, but, but the real crux of the matter. So that for me, that, 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 that was number one, yeah? Mm. But number two, it also got to show for the fact that President Museveni is such a big-time coward. Um, I know he might be a decorated war hero, former rebel, and all these different things, army fatigue. But he's a coward. He's a coward, and that is why he will do all these ridiculous things. For starters, these electoral reforms are unconstitutional. Blue, black, left, right, and center. Because, you see, the Constitution guarantees our freedom of association. So when you say you cannot associate because you are independent, you cannot associate with the political party and vice versa, for heaven's sake, why are you curtailing my freedom of association? So they are unconstitutional. Ridiculous when I see things like <laughs> results should be announced in the presence of only five people. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what they are planning to do. Because so you know? five. Well, well, what happens is <laughs> you have cast your vote. They will chase away everybody and they will bring their own five. You know, as long as they are five people. Yeah, well, Those are the ones to witness experience. the counting of the votes. And here is why you, Charles, me, and the rest of the people out there will never know what happens mm -hmm. at that polling station. It's because they're saying no cameras, no phones at polling stations. Because they want to do thorough, thorough rigging and the world shall not get to know. Because, you see, they're going to plant the five. The proposals are saying only five people. So they'll chase away all of you, go. And they'll keep five. Whichever five, they'll get their five and plant them there. No phones allowed, no cameras allowed. You will never get to know what has happened. Are you suggesting there. there's no formula for selecting the five? <laughs> or maybe you have interacted with the Joel proposal. seems to suggest that this is already law. First of all, the I'm talking about the, the proposal. Yes, 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 yes but why are you saying, saying that I'm these saying people will be random? Yeah, yeah but because that's what, that's what they're talking the about. the function of electoral reforms and the reason they will be tabled in parliament mm. is that you can have input from as, no, but as many say, shades of political <laughs> or, you know, opinion as possible. Ivan, we need to also engage with the thinking. Yes, these are not law, mm -hmm. but this represents the thinking of government. Yes. Without it, so yes, in the yes, thinking yes, of yes, government, yes, yes, who are these five people? Do who selects them? Charles. Who you selects them? You, 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 you can have. Mm -hmm. the, it, there is a possibility mm -hmm. that for any elective position, there will be 20 people. You can have 20 contestants. That's true. If you have 20 contestants, mm -hmm. how do you select the five who represent the interests of the mm -hmm. 20 contestants? And that includes the presidency. Mm -hmm. uh, we have not had a presidential yeah. election. Previously, mm. we in had eight country. or nine. Mm. We have eight. not had a presidential election in this country mm. since 1996, mm. which has had less than five candidates. Mm -hmm. uh, Charles, Charles, I, I don't want to speak for the land that in general, Honorable Biharanga, he probably has no, you just have a right with perspective, with but, them but, as but, but that's what I'm trying to, to say. The thinking behind this. Charles, we have seen situations that most of our electro, e electro times or election day is a very highly polarized today for in many quarters of this country. We have seen fighting at polling booths. We have seen people running out with ballot boxes at polling stations. We have uh, seen outright thuggery at some of these polling stations. I am thinking that the reason you want to regulate the number of people that appear at the polling booth or at the announcement of elections and restrict it to specifically five is to remove the, 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 the possibility. So why a magic of, uh, number five, five. Uh, okay. for example? That can be, that is, oh, that is oh, just oh, a oh, number. Oh, it oh, can oh, be oh, debated. Oh, it can be discussed in parliament. Oh, it can oh, be expanded oh, even. Oh, but I'm just saying that the thinking behind it, you said we engage with the thinking. Yes. I'm trying to say that the thinking behind this is that you eliminate this unnecessary congestion and of people in a polling booth, which makes the electoral system susceptible to, you know, to, to, to a lot of fr uh, fraud and, and in fighting and distortion of the entire electoral process. You do not want Joel to go into an election where you vote smoothly and at the time of voting, everything mm -hmm. is just washed away because of... Let me pick that call and then we'll come back to the studio. Hello? Mm -hmm. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello. Yes, your name, and where are you calling from? Doc, um, Deo Gracious, calling from Lira. Yes, Deo. Uh, keep your comment or question brief, sir. Now, um, Joel, we, we're having a problem with some of your guests. Uh, Ivan, you need to give a reason to your argument. You cannot argue national issues like you're arguing in a school debate. You're there talking on a national TV where you're talking to the hearts of Ugandans, 
so many watching you, grandparents, your fathers, your parents, who, who, who desire a better country. So if you start debating by just arguing like you used to, you will miss a point. The country what specifically is the sober is, debate. What specifically is the issue, the gracious that you think uh, is not being argued properly? <clears throat> Look at those reforms. Are those reforms? What if issue you, do you have you with read the reforms? Them, mm. if, if you cut if in an election where people go to elect their representative, they want to, to know the outcome of the, the elections, and you chase away people, you remain with five. Mm. So what is the essence of us going to line the whole day? Mm. Vote, then be chased away, then tomorrow be told. And yet even in the present circumstances where we all see the results, the results are distorted <clears throat> from polling stations. Today they announce a winner, tomorrow results change, court nullifies elections, all that, and you just argue. You, you just keep throwing careless words. Anyway. Well, well, well Deo, I, I hope you appreciate uh, diversity of opinion. Um, uh, Ivan's opinion may not align with your own opinion, but all opinions uh, have the same space and the same platform uh, on the show. So I, I hope we can, uh, uh, we, we, we can agree on that, that uh, Ivan has an opinion, you have an opinion, uh, Joel has an opinion. I, I, I hope you can also respect Deo's yes. opinion. I, I do, of course. That's, uh, that's, why, that's well. why I will listen to I, you. I, I'm mm. only trying as much as possible to suppress my own opinion mm. uh, because <laughs> I have to moderate <laughs> the show. Mm. But Deo, are you done? Um, um, anything else you would like to say? Deo seems to be off. Deo is off. Can I pick another one? Right. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello? Yes, sir. Your name and where are you calling from? Uh, good evening, Charles. Good evening, sir. Your name? Yes, I'm going to say I'm going from Chileka. Yes, please. You know, the, our government always loves reminding us that the, some, some things that passed some time ago. Mm. I was reading that report of Human Rights Watch of 1999. Mm. And the suppression of the media, the suppression of the opposition, that happened then, I do not know, maybe you can substantiate it better, that now media, you are having fair, a, fair, a fair environment of doing your work. Then uh, the other thing, these reforms, for example, the president appointing the electoral commission. I think it's fine, because, for example, Professor Jagger of Nigeria was appointed by good Jonathan, and he declared that he had failed. But in Uganda here, it's very, maybe, so somehow different that our own can declare that President Museven has, has been defeated in an election. Maybe it takes um, someone with borders really to appreciate that that thing can happen in Uganda. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, that B word is a big word for, yeah. uh, for, 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 for our viewers on TV. But l let's bring this discussion back here. Mm. Uh, gentlemen, uh, you, you are making an argument about these uh, electoral reforms, mm. and you're making a case mm. of the chaos at polling stations. Mm. At any one time in this country, mm. what is the number of elections that happen, mm. and how many of those are chaotic? Mm. Just I have let's uh, no, as, 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 as a journalist. Mm. Mm. I have, as a journalist and uh, a one-time election observer mm. in this country, mm. under SEDU, I have seen chaotic elections and peaceful elections. Mm. Announcement of results, mm. most of the time, has been one of the most peaceful parts mm. of an electoral cycle, mm. apart from mm. electoral college, uh, ele electoral college uh, elections uh, for, for, for the youth. Uh, th those, the chaos begins before the... The actual, but all, all actually, even then, before, on some during, and after. before during and after, Charles, let me and, and you need to draw a distinction. Mm. How do you propose increasing security mm. Mm. Mm? at mm. the Tali Center? Mm. Do you propose wh wh what is the choice you make? So, let me, let, let, me, let, me, let me tell you, is, is Charles, mm -hmm. we have seen very seamless election announcements mm. in so no doubt, but we've also seen very chaotic ones. We've been in Dabuli West. We've been in the same bubble where you saw people throwing basins and uh, pulling guns at one another. At one another. We've seen situations where the p things have gone uh, 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 amok. Mm. We do not want those situations. We should be making efforts to helping that. And you're asking a question of security, of securing electoral booths and electoral processes. This is where the, the po suggested policy, for example, of having all the security officers vote five days before the election day. 
well, this is where it's very important, so that on election day, you can have all the manpower of the state, the coercive agents of the state and the entire manpower, free and available for service, mm. so they can uh, secure the electoral process. Because an election is a very important aspect, a franchi a fran the franchise is a very important aspect, right, of, of citizens to be able to exercise their right without any threat, without any disenfranchisement from any circle or without any threat from any people, mm. from, from any body. That is why this, this refor these reforms are very important. That is why I am not saying that five, five is not a static, a, a static number, otherwise it would be low. The reason this is open to debate is that we can suggest how many people do we think are necessary in the electoral booth, which is gazetted. It is not that people will say, had everybody away. It is just that in an electoral booth where they are announcing a, an election, surely the Actually, returning the, officer... the proposal says the, the, uh, the, polling the, station, the, not the electoral booth. Station. The, elect the returning officer can be in a position where they can freely announce a, a, an election without fear or what, or, uh, shouting and, you know, threatening why, from, why, from, why from do you just, why, just could why we discuss a bit of, mm. of, of law in mm. a very mild manner? Mm. Uh, you and I are law students. Mm. For any law to be introduced, Charles, you know that it should be seeking to deal with the mischief, mm. to remedy something. Mm. So when I look at this, I'm trying to understand, so what exactly is the mischief? What are they trying to remedy? When you say, mm. keep your phones away, um, keep all manner of recorders, cameras, and so on away from mm. a polling station, mm. wh what are you guarding against? Mm. I would like to think you're actually guarding against rigging. Mm. Because if folks, you see, social media has become a phenomenon nowadays, you mm. know, that I can just pull out my phone and show the whole world live what is happening. We have also so seen let's from the US. Uh, you have been submitting. Okay. Allow me to uh, submit uh, for uh, a second. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I would like to think that there's no mischief this is trying to address. This uh, really is coming to make it very easy for President Museveni and, and the system to rig with a lot of ease. Charles, the Supreme Court in 2016, Amam Babazi versus Yuri Museveni, Attorney General and uh, Electoral Commission, the Supreme Court adumbrated 10 critical issues that should be dealt with. Government is now hoodwinking us, saying that, uh, all right, we want to beat the deadline. Which, by, which deadline, by the way, already passed? Because the, the, the Attorney uh, General has given two years. Passed. Let me give you information. The mm. Attorney General has given two years. The two years expired, and a couple of people went to court. Mm -hmm. Professor Waloka Unyango, mm. Chituwa Chakatiba, and a couple of others. Mm. And they were saying, Supreme Court, you did issue orders mm. that the Attorney General, within two years, does come out with the electoral reforms. They have not. The Supreme Court pronounced itself again, saying, we did issue. These were not suggestions. Mm. Uh, this is stuff that government we expected you should deal with, mm. and they were given they were they given were another timeline. There were mm. orders, there were mm. no suggestions. So, so and so government mm. comes out to Has look at us and say that, timeline. That, that, that here are reforms, and we're saying, wait a minute, there are critical things that the elect Supreme Court did say address. Donations, for example, the Supreme Court said the question of donations for a seating incumbent for an incumbent who is running as president as well, because every election President Museveni moves across the country giving out stuff, saying, I am fulfilling my manifesto. I'm fulfilling we, pledges. We, we, we gave him money recently, about two months or so ago. Parliaments have passed a supplementary of 33 billion shillings, 15 billion classified, 17 point something, was for him to go across the country. For the presidential and operation donation. wealth not, creation. No, 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 it was But you see, for, for all, all this operation wealth mandate. creation thing, mm. whatever it goes, sole candidate 2021, you have seen billboards, I'm sure, you have mm. seen of 2021. It is the president campaigning. In 2011, President Museveni literally raided Bank of Uganda and got 740 million US dollars. That's over 2 trillion shillings. And look, a short while after that, you remember the inflation there was in this mm -hmm. country after that election? The governor of Bank of Uganda, I, I can say, Musime um, Mutevide, the governor. I, I, Ivan is shaking the, the, his the head. Person he who, the person who runs <laughs> Bank of Uganda <laughs> came out and said, before cameras, and said, I am sorry, I was misled to fund an election. Charles Why? Because know? President Museveni lied to the man and... Uh, <laughs> He imagined the money was going to be used for other things. It went into funding President Sir, Museveni's Sir, campaign. Mm. And, and Professor Tumusimi Mutevili, you guys covered that, I saw as well, <laughs> saying, look, I was misled into funding <laughs> that, that, an election. That, that, so that he went around... That wasn't, wasn't for election. Exactly. Officially, and we have, it wasn't yes, for election. Yes, and we have had it, this uh, debate. Uh, but we, but we, I'm, we, I'm telling we, you we what the before. governor said. No, no, no. Yes, no. I hear you, but I'm, no. I'm, I'm only saying but what he Joel, said. But Joel, he's the only released the money is record. In fact, out of parliamentary inquiry, there was a parliamentary inquiry to that effect, and that money was spent on buying <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm only telling you what, what, yeah, what, what yeah, the person in so charge of Bank of Uganda... No, this no, no, was subjected to parliamentary inquiry. I am only saying gentlemen, what the gentlemen, governor Bank of Uganda said. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Mm. Let's not take our viewers for granted. Mm. We know that vote items mm. of budgets passed normally do, may not necessarily go to... May, may not. We know that going into the 2011 elections, we will agree with you, Mm. is that we run, for the first time in the history of this country, mm. two currencies side by side. Mm. For obvious reasons. No, no, uh, yes. We had uh, 
currency notes that were supposed to be phased out mm. and the new ones. Mm. And they ran side by side. For uh, we, 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 we are journalists, we are analysts, we are investigators. We can safely ask the questions that, oh, and we have asked the questions that needed to be asked. Mm. And, and yes, answers were what, given. And I answers just gave you an answer yes. by the, um, governor, Bank uh, the, the governor Bank of Uganda. He said he was misled into funding but an election. No, 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 no. It's on record. When, when, when you are reforming, record, uh, the, gentlemen, gentlemen, when you are reforming electoral laws on campaign financing, ACFIM, the, 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 that outfit that monitors uh, electoral financing, released the report. 2011 was the most expensive election. Mm. The NRM party and President Yoram Museveni pumped the most money in that election, mm. though they never counted exactly where their money came from, how they spent it. Eh? That and is why we have Can I just give you more, is, information, more why, information about that, now, Charles? Yes. Because there was you no law then. With yes. the we require NRM to account for that money. Are you there kidding was. me? No, 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 the law has always no, been I, yes. am, I am saying it's, it's basic and public information, Ivan <laughs> Rogan. Yes, yes, you can seek that information, information and you will be given. The Electoral Commission mm. has a political party's desk, mm. and one of its requirements mm. is it's supposed to receive mm. returns. audited returns. Oh, yeah. Mm. From every political party mm. every year, every year. Yes, that is not. Uh, yes, my contention is one of the most financial financing for election financing. And the ruling party was. I, I, he calls it notorious. notorious it's mo not most notorious it's not for not, not filing notorious. returns. Yes. When you most require from yes. the EC reports. Uh, for not filing returns. Yeah. But also mm. that a party that also runs government mm. and can hide some of party, uh, pa pa some of the party money mm. in government activities, mm. like the, pr the, 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 the ongoing presidential tours, mm. an electoral law no, that but is just meant you to monitor... Pa pass uh, just a moment. Mm. An electoral law that is meant to regulate mm. and create fairness Mm. in use of money in elections. Mm. This is a demand that has been made mm. by various entities mm. over a long period of time, I think about the last decade. And I don't see that in the Charles, current, okay. current, current Let me reforms, respond to this. That how do you draw a distinction mm. between public monies mm. being used for political purposes mm. to benefit an incumbent government mm. and, and President Yoram Seveni, mm. and the question of the presidential donations, mm. the, pre the, the, the question of uh, these tours. Mm. I have been asking, I haven't seen a condemnation of... Uh, uh, well, a statement mm. on uh, the early campaigns that President Seven launched mm. uh, uh, through his tour. The, 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 the president has and not the reforms he wanted. Not these jokes. The president has not. Let me tell you, Charles. Oh, he has not. The president. Have you seen Bill No, no, no. Listen. Yeah. Let, okay. me speak, let, me speak, uh, let me speak. Joel. First of all, Charles, you need to know, and I assume you know that the president does not cease to be president when he's on the campaign trail. Yes, and is that yes, yes, yes. That by law, by law, yeah, yeah, by law. Is that something that needs to be addressed? Well, you you can raise it. That's why we have a parliament. These issues will be debated. You you can suggest amendments to particular laws. But what I am saying is that the president cannot. We cannot say that two years to the election, the president, the functions of the presidency will cease or will be put to a standstill because we are anticipating an electoral when season. Years that, to is, an election, that, that, that is, yes, if I the hear president... You, yes, I hear you, yes, and, and yes, in fairness, yes, yes. two years to an election, mm -hmm. when the electoral commission mm -hmm. and the police tell other contenders, mm -hmm. potential contenders, mm -hmm. you cannot be engaged mm -hmm. in political activities mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. because the electoral period hasn't been opened yet. Mm -hmm. And you see that the president is receiving endorsements mm -hmm at every corner. Mm. And billboards and are up campaigning mm. for they, they, they had billboards yeah. up. They, 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 it, we're actually in campaign mode. Mm. You, you, you need yeah, to be, you, Yeah, you, oh, that is why people power in recent uh, launching you, you need, you need uh, to be blind uh, not to see that. Um, uh, West Nile endorses President Museven for 2021. Mm -hmm. uh, Toro region endorses President Museven is all candidate for 2021. Mm. Bunyoro region, Busoga region. And billboards are and, up. And, and, and billboards are up. Open. Mm. When you present electoral law reforms, mm. Is that part of the contention, mm. part of the ill mm. that you need to deal with if those electoral reforms are supposed to be fair? No, so I had a call online. I need to pick this and uh, when we'll take a break. I'll come to you, gentlemen. Hello? 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 Your name and where you're calling from, sir? Hello? Hello? Your name and where you're calling from? Uh, my name is Tony Ochen. Yes, Tony. Where are you calling from? I am calling from Nigeria. Okay, go ahead. Tony Ochen. Yes, please. Go ahead. My name is Tony Ochen. Oh, yes, we have had Tony. Uh, can you go ahead with your comment or question? Yeah, first of all, I want to thank you for this program. Thank you. 
um, uh, and as far as sensitizing our country is concerned on some of these important issues. However, I want to request my brother Joel Senyoni that uh, if you really love your country, you must be very honest with certain things you speak on national TV. We are not going to allow a clique of young men who think they should put the president on pressure because they are looking for small handouts so that they, 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 they can, you know, stop the pressure they think they are putting on board. Reason I'm saying this, Joel Senyoni, who is uh, a member of this so-called uh, Red Tops, what do you call it, people power? You seem to have a lot of beef. Why right? are you putting, why are you complaining mm. about West Nile saying we endorse Museveni for 2021, mm. Toro saying we endorse Museveni for 2021? Just, just, no, 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 no. We are not going to allow this country go into turmoil because of young men who have their own personal issues. Mm. <laughs> Just two days ago, Bobby Wine was kind of uh, officiating and officially appointing his, 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 his pressure group representatives. Who has complained about that? Mm -hmm. That's an now here, yeah. you're making noise, saying we will pick some money from a bank of Uganda and divert it. I am begging but that particular issue be brought to book and on record. Joe, you need to explain to this country the money that the president picked from Bank of Uganda, and if it is true, I am a member of NRM, I'll leave the NRM. Mm. Thank you. However, I want to wind up by saying this, because I believe there are other viewers there who may need to call in. Yes. I want to assure you, my brother Joel Senyoni, we are not going to allow you a gang of drug addicts, people who think you're going to hand pick because you can make noise, you don't see anything, you want to intimidate NRM, you want to, I want to assure you, I am from northern Uganda, I have influence in eastern Uganda, I want to assure you, you're going to get a bloody nose come 2021. These are very clear and open election reforms. When they say, when, when, when they say a candidate from, uh, from, from a political party like NRM who stood for primaries should not disorganize people by coming back an independent, as an independent, what is wrong with that? Okay. If somebody stood under people power and lost elections mm -hmm. and then stands again as a candidate who won as a flag bearer for people power, is that political sense? Like I said, other callers must are also watching and I'm giving an opportunity. My brother, Mr. Moderator, I want to thank you. I'm a constant viewer of the Forte State. I am going to keep watching and I'll keep calling. Joel, stand strong. Calls like that one that came from leaders should not intimidate you. Mm. Thank this you. country is not a laboratory where we want to test anything. Chameleon is coming for him. Bobby Wine, president. A man with a record of drug addiction is supposed to be Joel Senyonis' president. I am disappointed. Thank you, Tony. Um, uh, Joel is here in the studio, so he responds to the issues that mm -hmm. came to him. But uh, uh, th th those are very, very strong opinions. And uh, I request that our viewers uh, uh, kindly, uh, let's moderate um, um, uh, some of those opinions. Uh, they're very strong. Well, I think, I think um, I, we appreciate Tony from Nigeria. He's entitled to his views. Um, he says, we are not going to allow you that whole we have the Majay thing. That's okay, don't allow us, but within the law, and that's what we are trying to fix here, that uh, let the law be fair, let the law be orderly, and that's what we are discussing. So this whole, we are not going to allow you, and then he says, we are not going to allow young people and all of these things who are, I don't know what. Look, President Museveni was a young man, together with his fellow rebels who picked up guns, went to the bush, killed people to take power. And you'll say, what did you say, killed people? Well, they picked up guns, they were actually thieves. They raided Kamamba, stole more guns. They were not shooting at elephants, they were shooting at human beings. And for us, we don't want to take power that way. No, we are peace-loving Ugandans. We don't want, we want a vicious cycle of bloodshed for, for power to transition. So just so you know, we are not as violent as uh, that group, you know, that picked up guns, killed people, shed blood, and there are skulls all over Luero, Nakasongola. I come from Nakasongola, mm. you know, and, and we are not that way. Please spare us, you okay. know. Uh, we want to do this peacefully and within the law. So let, worry not. This whole, we shall let, not let allow you come more. down. Uh, disallow us within the law. That's why we want to fix the law. So let, that it let, is let's take one level. more call and then we'll take a break. Hello? Hello? 
Hello? Hello? Yes, your name and where you're calling from, sir? Uh, this is Wafula Godfrey calling from Triandongo. Yes, please. Uh, thank you for the show. You're welcome. Uh, I want just to okay, to comment on the proposed amendment of the electoral policies. Yes. Uh, to me, I think uh, some of them are not issues that bring violence into this country during elections. Mm. I think uh, some of those reforms, we need to scrutinize them good enough that we need for the parliament, but... Uh, they are not many things. We stay in the village, and what we see in the village is not what they are put on the reforms, actually. Mm. Maybe sometimes we have had a kind of uh, uh, research in the villages where most of these violence are. They are not so much felt. This violence, much of them are felt in the cities, but in the villages it is different. Mm. There's a bright being which should be handled carefully, intimidation of others and other people like what you're hearing, people calling and saying. These are things which is spread all over the country, and with the villagers fear so much, they know how to take care of their lives. They vote and run away to gun. Once they see guns patrolling in the villages, they know there's going to be a problem. To me, I think uh, we need to look at genuine issues that bring violence, and then saying mobile phones, five people to be declared results to, you know, but people from this part are going this way. Just the issue of violence in the villages, actually, it's a little different. So to me, I think we need to look at serious issues that always bring us into trouble. When people elect in the village, they wait for results. They hear there have been changed at the district. There have been changed at the maybe telling center. So there are so many issues which we need to look at other than these things the uh, attorney general is bringing to blind, maybe blindfold the people and do other things. Thank, Thank you, you. Godfrey. Thank you, Godfrey. Uh, gentlemen, we need to take a commercial break. Um, uh, if you have views and opinions on... Um, the discussion on electoral reforms. One is uh, you can continue that discussion. You can continue to give us feedback even when we come into the next uh, uh, segment. But you can also continue that debate on our social media platforms, uh, especially on Twitter and on Facebook. As more details emerge about these uh, proposed electoral reforms, we will uh, bring them to discussion uh, on this show and on uh, other shows on uh, the station. We need to take a commercial break, and when we come back, we'll be going into uh, Ochen might. Uh, uh, Ochen, Tony Ochen, you should be very interested because we'll be discussing people power and uh, the national coordinators uh, they unveiled earlier in the week. We'll be right back. Welcome back to this last segment of the fourth estate. I'll take some more messages from uh, some of our viewers. Nteja Simwe is watching us from Bushenya and says, Charles, these are not the electoral reforms the country was waiting for. What government has done is akin to me, te to me telling my father that I want to marry and he brings my sister as a wife or telling my mother that I am hungry and she gives me grass to eat. These proposals without getting into details for lack of time and space are not only laughable, but they are absolutely ridiculous. NRM seems to have hit its political menopause. Another viewer here uh, says, uh, Pole Kayanja Arali is in Fort Porto. He says, um, are candidates allowed to take their agents in the barracks to monitor elections? I hear Ame will vote uh, a bit early. Very interesting. Well, uh, Pole, the proposal is that you allow these people, uh, especially members of the security forces, time to vote early so that not to dis so as not to disenfranchise them and allow them space to provide to continue providing the services of uh, providing uh, security but but what police is asking just uh, is um, yes the expectation is that they can vote for whichever you know candidate um, and so yeah, yes she's, she's asking mm -hmm. will it be allowable that if charles mwangusha is standing for president joel senior is standing he is standing we can all be allowed to have our agents in the mm. barracks. That's what she's talking w about. Well, I, 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 I haven't read the detail of the proposal and whether that changes uh, whether the polling station, because according to current electoral laws, the polling station is not inside the barracks. Mm. It's just outside the barracks. Mm. So even people from nearby can come and vote. Mm. Well, the practicality of who wins those uh, <coughs> polls near barracks is a different question. It has been swinging. Uh, mm. There was a time, I think in 2006, when barracks in northern Uganda voted heavily in favour of an opposition candidate and, and, and then was uh, uh, Dr. Kiza Besige. 
whether it was the soldiers voting in that fashion or the people in the neighborhood outnumbering uh, those who are supposed to vote from inside is a different matter we can't debate now. But, but um, tell us as we conclude this yes. topic of electoral reforms. You see, there's a, the, a popular argument now is that the electoral reforms are dis or are dis advantaging the opposition more as if the electoral reforms are supposed to ease mm -hmm. the opposition's quest, quest for power. Well, that shouldn't or be the idea. Just, just, make the, just make it fair Even, for everybody. Yes, but yes, but fairness, no, don't put yes, anyone yes, above yes, anybody. Yes, but yes, but yes, but yes, but yes, yes, just make it fair. Yeah, 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 but allow Ivan to make his point. Let me make my point. So when government, the government does not legislate for the opposition for NRM or alone. When cabinet makes such proposals, they are for the general citizenry or they are for the population. That is why they go to the People's Assembly, which is parliament, and where people's representatives give their input, it goes to the committee stage, you deliberate, make amendments, eh, eh, make, then you come up with a substantive law. That window has not been closed. The, my fear, this, the, you see the, oppo uh, the opposition is very often very quick to scapegoat or to uh, take uh, swipe or take target at some of these laws, as if they are the only, or, or the or laws, or unfair is what stands between them and, 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 uh, the, and victory. Look, there have been by-elections in nine new districts right now. The opposition didn't have a candidate in any of those places. Which laws were unfair or what, decide, what malpractice happened in those places that stopped the opposition from fielding candidates in all these places? Mm. So why is the opposition always very quick to scapegoat any law or any suggested amendment or any supposed, even when by the way it has not yet been debated or passed into law? Instead of confronting the real uh, structure bottlenecks to go to the president, the structure bottlenecks that stop the stand between them and their quest for political power. Let me I give advice. It, it, it just okay. Okay. Can, can, can I also read this? Can mm. I also okay. read this? Because uh, mm. you might need to respond to it. Mm. It's from Bernard in Paris. Uh, he says, Charles, please let Senyonyi tell us mm. the difference between President Museveni's current tours mm. and Bobby Wayne's unveiling a campaign exactly. team. Mm -hmm. Both are campaigning. Mm -hmm. That's Bernard in Paris. Mm. Okay, so two very quick things. Mm -hmm. um, the botronics that my brother talks about, mm. <laughs> a, 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 a very quick one for this, if you're saying that the opposition is scapegoating, mm -mm. fair enough, don't, allow, don't give them room to have an excuse. Mm. And how you do that is level the ground for everybody such that no one has an excuse. So, so I hear you, when you mm -hmm. say that you know, the opposition, they're using scapegoats and so on, you are giving them that. So mm -hmm. don't give it to them mm -hmm. by leveling the ground. I, I think that's reasonable and mm -hmm. logical enough. My brother is asking about, brother, sister, you yeah, know, yeah, about, Bayer, uh, brother. President Museveni mm -hmm. going across the country campaigning and, and all of that. We unveiled in uh, Honorable Chagulanyi's backyard. President Museveni is going across the country freely and using your money and my money. Magere we is not in Kenya, Joel. Is it in Kenya? It is also <laughs> in Uganda. <laughs> it is... Uh, it is <laughs> <laughs> there was an assembly. Kiza Vesi the other day had the people's, state of the people's in, address. In his in house Kasanga. as well. Look, the, 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 the point is, mm. President Museveni does not want the opposition to go and meet with the people. Mm. While he can go around meeting the people, so who are you using meeting? our money, he will say, you know, uh, you guys, will, you're not allowed to campaign. So, so, sorry, I, Ivan, there's a difference. President Museveni meets delegations yeah. every single day oh, yeah. in State House, mm -hmm. at Ruachitura, mm -hmm. in State House Nakasero, in mm -hmm. State House Entebbe, mm -hmm. at, uh, in Ruachitura, mm -hmm. in Ntungamo. And like in, I said, uh, in, in Kisozi. Does not just a moment, just a moment. Mm -hmm. in, 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 in Kisozi, mm -hmm. um, but he also has the opportunity mm -hmm. to go out and hold rallies. Mm -hmm. There's yes. a difference. And the opposition yes. does not. Yes. Just yes. about yes. three months or so ago, President Museveni was in Honorable Chagulanyi's backyard, mm. you know, holding a rally, doing whatever it is that he wanted mm. to do, and so on. Honorable Chagulanyi cannot hold a rally in even the neighboring compound to his But house. you have been holding and, and, concerts. And that's what we are saying. Politicized concerts in, in, in where is one, concerts. Love, one Love Beach. Uh, one you love you don't know what happened the last time it was. No, okay, okay but they, they surely they have been, but they have, surely they have been uh, um, concerts, concerts which have been uh, uh, attended I, I, by almost numbers. Over a hundred people have been there. Where Bobo Wine has been there with his red beret, which is an insignia of his of the politician that he has imagined. How many concerts have you know? They don't have to be a hundred. What we are saying that how many rallies has uh, the president held? He has been uh, uh, here it, this time for it, three it, years now. He has I, only I, started I'm, I'm afraid that's a dicey yeah. subject because mm. we will uh, <laughs> we'll extend to ask uh, whether Kiza Besley has been able to mm. um, do his mobilization mm. and uh, the other members of the opposition. No, he's even talking about concerts. Okay. Mm. I'm, I'm afraid concert we need, we need to country. move on. At Patrick mm. Tumwine is watching us and says, who is we? Tony says they won't allow us who? Who says NRM has the has monopoly over power? Monopoly of power. I think that's um, a very uh, good question. So it, this it, whole uh, Tony Ochen, that's a question for you. Who is we? Is an important those question. Those people people Tony identified they himself they as a member of the NRM, and he said, "Do they, as the NRM, won't allow people like Joel Senyonyi and Bob Wine and that's to upstage to okay. them?" Yeah, yeah, but you see, we are saying operate within the law. Gentlemen, that's okay. let, let me let me let me take this feedback from our viewers. Mm. 
Uh, Linus Ngompek, I believe he's under DC. I don't know if he's still in Agago. Mm. Uh, Linus um, um, says, I think we should allow Parliament to discuss the tabled electoral reform mm. bills. Mm. Then after, we discuss at an informed point of view, although I have no problem with the bill because it's a representative mm. of all. So I why is he discussing the before Parliament? He's giving an opinion before will be Parliament. Well, on 10 you, days before elections. Join? As for People Power Wave, mm. we are waiting for them to crush their political boat. Mm. NRM is firm, steady, determined, and ready to emerge victorious in 2021. Well, um, um, Linus is actually being hypocritical because he says, let's not discuss, let's wait for parliament. But then he says, me, I have no problem. Hey, so mm -hmm. the well, same way you're Linus, discussing, let's discuss as well. Lino, Linus, you have an opinion, you're entitled to it, let's have ours Yes, mm -hmm. Linus, the proposals have been tabled before parliament, so they are public, uh, they're in the public domain for discussion. But even before then, uh, there are no secrets about electoral law reform. And there's no and, law and, you and break the demands, by Yes. And the demands for electoral law, law reform have been made both by the people within government and outside government, uh, political actors and non-political actors, and uh, they've been uh, a problem for the country for a long time. What is the, the, I the think push towards more democratization of the country is to put in place mm. electoral laws mm. that see beyond the next election. That's correct. The problem is... Uh, part of the thinking sometimes is limited to the next election. Mm. Um, I have a message here. Um, I don't know this is from who, um, but I'll read it. Uganda should adopt a parliamentary democracy to reduce on the cost of presidential elections and the tension it creates in Uganda. MPs should be reduced to 150 with no special interest groups in and their wages reduced to 10 million shillings maximum. Uh, did Parliament rule the other day that members of Parliament shouldn't set their own, uh, determine their own wages? No, it's actually mm. not Parliament I, that ruled it. Um, it's it's, it's no, a court. Court, court ruled that they shouldn't <coughs> set and That's their why own some wages. of us, for example, keep asking, so what, for heaven's sake, why do we have army MPs in that August House bloating it up? And they say, look, they're there as listening posts. Are you kidding me? I never, okay. I never sit in Parliament, but I listen from wherever I am. So if you want to listen, you can listen from wherever you mm. are. You okay. don't have well, to be there. Well, really. the constitution of Parliament is a function of law. Gentlemen, thanks for the show. And regards Joel and Ivan, this is from uh, Rama Omonya. He says, people like Tony Ocheng are the very reasons why we remain number three as the poorest, as the poorest uh, in the world because they cannot speak truth to power. Does he have evidence of Bobby Wayne being drug addict? <laughs> it's a shame we have old men like that around. Their time is up. In fact, I am for Project M, a young guy with contemporary ideas. Whatever this means, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Please try to protect the guests <laughs> from those who use vile descriptions mm. like Tony Ocheng. And uh, please tell Ivan that the journalist in him allows him to interrogate the facts. I like how he's putting Joel to task. I expect him to do the same to President's wealth creation campaigns instead of apologetically defending it. Just see how he jumps to defend Tony Ocheng's we. <laughs> he has become an apologist. <laughs> yeah, I think um, if, I think if I forgot to say about mm -hmm. the, the Tony O'Chang's of this yes. world is that they have an exaggerated sense of self-importance. Mm -hmm. And uh, Robert Sempala asks, can I even help me understand why cameras and phones must be kept away from polling, st polling areas? Is that one of the areas of attention as recommended by the Supreme Court? What are they trying to cure? Um, I have we'll a tell message. you they want to cure violence at the police station. No, I, I have a to message. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys have failed to deal with the critical issues that no, the Supreme Court uh, raised. Okay, okay, okay. Let me, let me take some more messages. There is a caller here, a, a viewer here who says, um, 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 it's totally disappointing to see some of the so-called electoral reforms. They're a bunch of jokes, and it's actually annoying that educated people like the Attorney General get involved in jokes on matters of national importance. The list is completely disappointing. I don't even understand how someone can sit and type such items or in which meeting one comes up with such suggestions. Even if one doesn't care about improving the democratic processes, there is also a way to write bias reforms more subtly and more professionally. Some of the items on the list are just jokes. Last time when Ivan hosted this program, he was very good. And, I, and, and this viewer prized you. Today he's very disappointing. What happened? No, no, no. <laughs> Just <laughs> was a host. Now he's here in his capacity as an NRM defender. <laughs> no, no. Leave the man to earn his bread and butter. Joe, Joe. Please have mercy on Joe. my friend. Joe. And and okay. and and, 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 and unfortunately for Joe, he has carried yeah. the bread from Magere <laughs> for us. So <laughs> allow the man to do his job now. Let's carry the bread from Magere for us. Linus has come back and says yes, he's still IRDC for Agago and will be contestant in 2021 for member of parliament Chibanda North constituency in Kiriandongo district. Mm. Well, um, uh, uh, Linus, if you're standing on the NRM, I hope these uh, reforms favor you. 
if you're not standing on the NRM, you should also evaluate <laughs> what they mean to you. Um, there's another viewer here who says, uh, why can't Ivan tell us the spirit behind these reforms? What are they meant to achieve in terms of leveling the playing field? Mm. In my opinion, these are not only against any particular politicians, but are meant to disenfranchise the electorate and therefore very archaic and unconstitutional and should be fought by, by the general public. I wonder at the speaker and parliament uh, that sits to deliberate or legislate on such. There are many messages that I may not be able yeah, to take. Uh, just a moment, mm -hmm. um, I have a message here from Moses who says, uh, my take on electoral reforms is the focus should be put to the legal committee which is going to scrutinize the bills. These are proposals which can be rejected or taken. The mm -hmm. committee will be more open to every proposal before the bills are made uh, an act of parliament. That's Moses Kajango uh, who says give, 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 give the, 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 the process um, a, chance. a chance. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's, it doesn't uh, stop us from debating mm -hmm. these things. Mm -hmm. We are okay, someone is looking for an apito. Charles, uh, Charles Joker is looking for an apito. Um, uh, we'll account later. Uh, but an apito is not on the short night. Mm. Gentlemen, let's come back to the studio. We, we don't have to go back into this electoral reform because the mm. debate will continue. Mm. Joel, mm. you were on TV on Wednesday unveiling, well, with uh, a large number of people wearing red berets, unveiling coordinators for the country. Uh, for people power. Yes, uh, thank you for, I, I can see an image here, um, uh, Mission 2021. Uh, someone mm. was asking, I think Ivan was asking, and some of the viewers mm. were mm. asking, yeah. isn't that campaigning? Is Why are you complaining about Museven campaigning? No, when we, you actually also we, we, we actually are not complaining. And you just told us you're coming from Rukunjiri. I mm. don't know if you had... You had yeah, we were invited us. to go and attend the <laughs> Thanksgiving, then we went to attend the burial. Actually, as our complaint is not so much about President Museveni campaigning. It is one that is using our money uh, if you were using his from his diary farm or that kind of thing, it would be okay. But for us, a lot more critically is to the Electoral Commission to stop being hypocritical. Because if you say uh, this is wrong, what's good for the goose should be goose, go I mean, good for the gander. Mm. If you say that, um, you know, because they write to the opposition and say you cannot go around campaigning. Meantime, President Museveni is moving across the country campaigning. Well, you're, and not we're saying what's you're not president. We he are not president. president. Oh, so when you, which law says when you're president, you are allowed to campaign? Uh, your opponent the president not has not campaign. announced that he's well, campaigning. Are you, hey, but no, you, no, you've no. not seen the billboards? You've no, not no, seen no. the billboards? No, no, no. no, but, no. But, but also, Charles, they, they using that very reasoning, they there are other leaders, Charles. That's, yes. that's okay. Yes. Mm. So, President Musevin is not the only leader in this country. I just gave you the example of uh, mm. the Honorable Robert Chagulani, who is a member of parliament for Chad Rondo East. Mm. The last time he tried to go and engage with these people at a rally after President Musevin had successfully held his and gone away. He was not allowed. But you see, he's a leader in that community. He has the manifesto to fulfill as well. So he has to interact with the people to fulfill the promises that he made. So he is a leader too. So why are you saying it's okay for one leader, President Museveni, to go across the country doing what he has to do as a leader, but it's not okay for these other leaders, even within their areas of jurisdiction, to do so? Let's stop being hypocrites. Mm. Okay. So no. you did ask me about uh, this. So what happened is um, we, we have for a very long time... Um, been asked for, you know, uh, by Ugandans, and we realized the need to, to structure, to get organized, and um, it's been the right thing to do. Of course, some mm. folks kept saying, you guys form a political party so that you can be organized, and we said, look, you don't need to form a political party for you to be organized. There's a plethora of political parties in this country. Very few of them do you know why? Because the others are just there. So you don't have to be a party per se to mm. be organized. And so we the, said... The, the political position has been uh, accused, mm. uh, especially by critics and people who are not... Mm directly engaged in the political discussion. Uh, they are interested, mm. but they're not directly involved. That the political position in this country has mm. failed mm. consistently <laughs> to speak with one voice, to work together. What we saw in the coordinators that People Power unveiled is that you're raiding other political parties, and the discussion afterward is that you, and, and you say you're now trying to get organized. But you can't get organized by destabilizing other people who believe in the same cause as you do. For heaven's sake, these are adults with a sound mind, Charles. No one ha we, wa had a nose put around their nose and drugged, you know. Well, I have but, seen, but, but I, you see, I have seen a, a lot more, of them. A lot more critically. I, I have seen a couple of them. Uh, you say these are adults uh, who d we were not drugged. But I have seen a couple of them who have uh, uh, disavowed your appointment as coordinators. And there's two of them, and I respond yes, to that. Mm -hmm. um, but, but, but you see, that you appointed them without Tri consulting them. Uh, I'm going to respond to that, Charles. Mm -hmm. Critically, when you say that uh, the opposition has always not been united and all of that, we realize that. That's a matter of fact. And uh, for us, we are coming as a glue to jail and say, look, this is actually not about any political party. It's about Ugandans who want to see a smooth transition of power in this country, 
who want to see this country fixed? You know, that institutions get to be fixed, power returns to them, that people have power, they can hold their leaders accountable, that we cease to have a big personality and have big institutions that function and build this country. And if you're that kind of Ugandan, we are saying we are availing a platform for you. But Regardless you're of where you you're belong. availing a platform. But that's you, what you we one, did. That's you, why we had the NRM people, we had the moment. FDC. You're riding other political parties, picking their people, putting them in your vehicle. You have declared that you have a presidential candidate or your leader has declared his intention to run for presidency. Mm. He repeated that on Wednesday. He has said it before. You're not jailing. You're tearing apart. Yeah, so the thing is, uh, no one, no, 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 nothing stops you as well, if you do qualify, to mm. stand for president, to declare your candidature. Nothing stops you from doing that. But the point of saying we are ready, we are saying, look, we are providing a platform. It's a movement. It's not a political party. Mm -hmm. And we're saying every Ugandan that is interested in this smooth transition, that wants to see this country get better, regardless of where you come from, mm -hmm. the door is open. And but they have come from across. They have come from the NRM, they've come from DP, FDC, ANT, You, and so you on. see that smooth transition through mm -hmm. the lenses of your leader, Bobby Wine, or Robert Chagulani Centum. Yeah, what's mm. wrong with that? Yeah? He no. has every qualification. He yes. has every qualification. Mm. But yeah. wha so what's, what what's your problem about that? They are talking about I, I, the people are going you probably if have if another candidate. No, no, no. Them. If people are going to ask and say, mm. are you just interested in uh, creating a smooth transition from President Yerim Seveni to another leader, hopefully a better leader, or you're interested in gaining power for power's sake or for yourself? Well, we are saying... Would that be a valid criticism? We, we are saying we want to get this power, return it where it belongs. It belongs to the people of Uganda who so should hold leaders now? accountable. It belongs to institutions, and that's what we want to do. Mm. And that's the process. Charles, so when I, I, we I say that we are availing alternative leaders, that's part of the process. Mm. Charles. You have talked about um, people who have disavowed. By the mm. way, when, when we were planning this, we were very cognizant of the fact that um, some people might fall off. And... Mm. Um, that, that, that's that's okay. You know, there's all these pressures and all of that. So, two things, maybe three. One, there was a fake list making the rounds on social media. Mm. Um, s the only official list, which is what I read, and uh, which eventually we did supply. It has our logo, it has my signature as spokesperson. That's the official list. Mm. But there are some people who have ha have had coming out to complain, saying, look, I was not consulted. I've s some of them are on those fake lists, mm. not on our official list. You know, and I've actually had some of them contact But me. there are those on and the official and, uh, list. And I have, I'm mm. coming. Mm. And I've told them, uh, here is our official list. You are not on that, this list. So maybe have a discussion with social media. It's the one which, you know. Um, You're did, not on our did, list. You're not on know. our list. Mm. You know, okay. as far as we are concerned, we don't know you. So take take it up with social media. So there's that fake list, you know. From, uh, so but who, but who so there's, there's, there's two people that we have heard about, uh, the mm. Honorable Adome Bildad yes. from Karamoja, mm. and uh, we have got to understand the Honorable Susan Amero as well. Mm. Um, look, <laughs> I, I think it's important that politicians cease to be disingenuous. It's important that um, you operate with honesty. Look, for every person who is on our official list, forget about the social media list, you know, that is not our business. Mm. Every person on that list was consulted way in advance, they gave their green light. Mm. For, for heaven's sake, why, why would we come up with a list and read people whom we have not consulted? How, what do we benefit from that? Well, Honorable Adome was consulted and uh, the Honorable Chagulani followed up and he gave his okay. I called him the day before uh, because in that you know release they said, you know, I was only called by Joel Senior the day before. I called him the day before to remind him about the press conference. Mm. And he said, look, I'll just be going to Parliament for a quick meeting, then I'll eventually come and join you for the press conference. I said, mm. fine. So later, then I get to see this statement. But, but look, um, Charles, wi while it is possible, whether it be due to pressure or afterthought, you say, well, I had given my okay, but I'm thinking twice. I think that's fine. You know, it's um, a free entry, free exit. But, but let's be honest. You know, uh, be honest and say, look, I had accepted, but uh, maybe I wasn't too sure what I was getting into, whatever the mm. case might be. And it's okay. And Ugandans, please don't crucify these people. You know, everyone is entitled to, to that. You can be here today. Tomorrow, but if you think, you should be mm. elsewhere. But, but let's be honest for heaven's sake. Okay. Uh, Ivan has been uh, itching to come in. I, Ivan, please come in. You, you have some yeah, questions for yeah, Joel. Yeah. F two, two things. Uh, first of all, the question of honesty is two-way. Uh, the other people say you were dishonest by including them on the list. You say they are dishonest. That is for the public to, to yeah. judge. But, but uh, there are two things that I wanted to point out. First of all, from the assembly, people power had <coughs> barely any surprises in terms of the people they assembled. You know, they are the same faces, the same political actors who have been oscillating from ANT, from uh, the FDC to people power. 
So it's the same faces. So the argument that they are appealing or they are building, they are reaching out to a bigger audience or that they, are, they have been embraced by a bigger community, we don't see it from the structure, at least it's in, of any significance, in any significant in fashion in the structure that was assembled or the people that were assembled. Mm. Secondly, the commonality of these, of these faces, or the fact that these are the same names, especially from the position, shows that this is m more than a national problem. This is becoming an intra-competition an intra-competition amongst the opposition forces about who is able to retain or to provide a surer vehicle for the existing uh, politicians in the opposition to ride on to victory in 2021. There are no new people they are adding on to it. They're just competing amongst one another. You had the Adeke, Adeke Anna being, you know, associated with the NT, now being associated she's with, not with, 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 with the people. That's, that's one of those we, not on our official we have, we And have she's we, my friend, by the way. We have Winfred Kiza. We have Winfred Kiza, who appeared with, the, uh, with the General Monto for the NT, now with People Power. She's the Women's League Chair of the, of the FDC. You have several majority of these people are people who have appeared at least once or twice in uh, another political vehicle in the opposition. Mm. So, and this is the challenge that the opposition must confront and must address. Uh, that you cannot, continue to talk that? you cannot continue to talk amongst you, yourselves or mobilize amongst yourselves and assume or try to create this semblance, this facade that you are a national platform where I, when elections come and you do not field candidates in over half of constituencies in this country, and when you don't, you have a very poor, miserable showing in parliament at the local council, one to five, then you start to be uh, 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 blaming it on an unleveled ground. Mm. I think that okay. it is the time the opposition came to face to this. I, th I, th I, think, I think you make a valid uh, criticism mm. there. Bernard Impire says, DP is already calling its members who mm. were appointed by people power for mm. disciplinary s uh, for disciplinary action, mm. say, or disciplinary hearing, saying they don't know whose ideology they are spreading. Mm. There is already a disagreement between people power and DP. How mm. will they work together? Mm. Very quickly, we don't have a pact with any political party. Um, mm. Like I said, this is a platform, it's a movement, for heaven's sake. I'll keep repeating this until I sound like a broken record. We, we are not a political party, we are a movement. It's a platform which is saying, regardless of where it is that you belong, all right? So, we, we didn't have to first get into an understanding. We didn't have to go to NRM and say, oh, President Museveni, <coughs> uh, allow us your members. No, no, no. These are people who think on their own. They're adults with a sound mind. And if they thought this is the right platform to be, there you are. My brother talks about mobilizing among us. You see being just a movement mm. the moment you begin morphing into an organized identity. Eh, mm. Wouldn't you agree? No, but you see, and, 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 and that's what we need to really uh, disabuse ourselves of, that uh, a movement is supposed to be disorganized, scattered all over the place. Why shouldn't a movement be organized? Why? Mm. Are, are you listening to the Why concerns, shouldn't it are, be are you listening the concerns of uh, your other compatriots in the opposition? The FDC, the Democratic Party, uh, which are complaining that you're taking away their people? We're not taking anybody's person. Um, I don't know if anyone owns anybody, but also, like I said, we didn't put a nose under anyone's nose, and uh, we dragged them. All right. But you saw the statement from ANT, General Gisha Munti was saying, look, you know, there's nothing wrong with uh, thi this happening, that uh, those who say they are card-holding members of ANT, which is a political party, mm -hmm. who subscribe to People Power, which is a movement. Mm -hmm. You saw the statement by Dr. Kiza Vesige. Interestingly, one of those, you talked about the FDC. I saw Power, uh, Patrick Oboy Amuriat, mm -hmm. the FDC president, Mm. Saying these people who, uh, you know, they belong to the FDC, but uh, now they're also with people power. He said that at the function, not of the FDC, but of people's government. The Lord Mayor was there from the FDC. Honorable Nambozi was there. I mean, Lord Mayor from uh, DP. Nambozi, Honorable Nambozi was there. Independent. From, yes. uh, but subscribing to DP, as mm -hmm. you know. He says he's a lifetime member of the DP. Mm -hmm. Same story with Honorable Nambozi. Under the people's government, there is uh, Honorable Ken Richamuzi from the CP. Mm. So, <laughs> so you're more blessing when from within. No, 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 hold on. Mm. So, so when uh, that, that my you know, elder brother says that uh, you know, it is wrong for our members to be elsewhere, not the FDC, but their members are a part of, again, a movement, a platform, if mm. you like. We, we should be okay. And for me, that's a critical thing. Ivan talks about the same faces being all over the place. You know, and, and for me, I actually uh, see no harm in that. Could be these faces are hungry for a, pr a place of belonging where they feel, okay, this is where I feel comfortable in as far as my aspirations are concerned for a better country and all of that. I, I, I don't see anything wrong with that because if they feel, all right, so this, this, this movement provides a platform for me. What's wrong with that? Because if they have, you wh know... Wh what do you see as wrong with the opposition? And uh, because the opposition has been trying to uh, wrest power from uh, the NRM and President Jeremy Seveni mm. uh, since 1996 when... Uh, uh, political competition, mm. uh, elective uh, uh, politics uh, was unveiled, 1996. Mm. 
um, uh, from 1996 to 2021. That's 30 years down the road. I No, uh, is that 30? 25 years? Uh, yeah, he'll be running to, towards his 25th, uh, 35th year in office. Uh, he'll have been in power for 35 years. Uh, and it has failed. Do you see any mistakes that the opposition in its current formation has made that you as people power can address? Absolutely. And we have like been what? students of uh, the, the opposition. Uh, there's things that we have learned from them, good stuff that uh, we feel we need to strengthen. But there's things we feel we, we should do better. My brother talked about the opposition having not fielded candidates in a plethora of places. I think that should not happen, you know, and that is why you must be organized. For that to happen, you have got to be organized such that you field candidates everywhere. There's no reason why the opposition should donate certain positions to the NRM. That for me speaks of not being very organized, mm. all right? And when you start to organize, people complain. But, but look, 2021 the, the, will be 25 years the, uh, between the, 1996. The, the, the other thing, um, I, I think for a very long, could it be that some people are actually very comfortable being in the opposition? I, I, I don't know. And that's why for us we are saying it's not even just about the opposition. And that's why you saw NRM members, card holding members of the NRM, who are saying we subscribe to this because it in a way does bring forth our aspirations. You saw them, the Honorable Patrick Nisamba, Honorable Nambeshe, Honorable James Achidri, you know, uh, a, a plethora Mbate of them, uh, Honorable Mbate Kamwagafa, Honorable Bada Bastinka Simire. And, 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 and that's the idea. We are saying it should not just be about your party, mm. you know. This, this should be for the grand idea. It should be about Uganda, for heaven's sake. That you can say, all right, the, yes, I do love my party, but then I'm looking at the bigger picture. There, there could be, be a different important. interpretation to that. Mm. And that's okay. Yeah, uh, they are political survivors mm. looking for every opportunity. In fact, mm. to mm. Honorable without a doubt, and yeah. we, are, we, are we, are we are not naive, we are not naive, just, you know, everybody, you see, when there's the, in, in this room, the other bit is dark, there's light here. When there's light in a room, everything will come to that light. The beautiful butterflies, the dirty, ugly moths, and so on. We, we are not naive to the fact that there are some people who will chant people power because they are looking for a position. We are not naive to that fact. Mm. Uh, but what do you do? Bring them in nonetheless but and, and see how you work alongside them. Hopefully you can inoculate in them the idea. So you, you, you cannot be naive to the fact that when you open the door, everyone how, and, you how, know, that how you walk in is good and well provide for, pro provide for um, uh, a united front for the opposition? Mm. It was tried in 2001. It didn't work. Tried in 2006, it didn't work. Tried in 2011, it didn't work. Um, uh, there was an attempt through TDA in mm. 2016, which also didn't work. Charles, Ugandans have for a very long time been telling the opposition um, and forces of change that guys unite, you know, especially if your aspirations are the same, if the end that you see in mind is the same. And that's why TDA broke the hearts of many people. IPC in 2011, people thought, all right, finally it's going to happen. It did not happen. Mm. We're saying, there was let's, let's give it another shot. in 2006. There you are. Mm. All right. So you, you guys have been making this clarion call and want to try and do that. That for but the how forces how that are interested do, do in change, you how do you see bring them together. How do you see yourselves doing that when mm. you have repeated here several times that mm. you have not put a noose around somebody's neck and dragged them? Oh, so to people so you want to us to bring them by force or what? No, what no, no I'm, say I'm, say I'm saying mm. Mm. It, 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 as, as, as an external person, I, I'm not a political actor, you're a political actor, mm. um, but I, I am politically active. Mm. You, I, I do not see that you're creating that jailing that you talked about. Mm. I see that uh, you're growing the number of potential presidential candidates. You're broadening the number of um, potential uh, I, I, I contestants in the individual, right? Not as an opposition that seeks to find common ground and say, and, 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 and drive common strategies. I don't see that. Yeah, yeah, but you see, when, when we say here is a platform that for starters is open to everybody, regardless of where you belong. Mm -hmm. So there is the parties, and parties have many times, you know, been flexing muscles, even within the opposition. And we're saying, guys, let it go beyond just your political party so that you can belong to one family, not a political party, you belong to your different <laughs> political parties, but, but here's one big family that you can belong to. For <laughs> me, I what see what that as, the, as, as the a start. What's the of that? What's the practical of that format of thing? Especially if you're saying that the end in sight is the same, that mm -hmm. you want to see a smooth transition in this country, you want to see a better country then than someone we have is going today. to ask you why the hunger to front a presidential candidate. Eh, what's, eh, but but when, when we say, we, we're not going to achieve power returning to institutions, power returning to the people, courtesy of President Museveni. As you can see, every day that passes by, we've just been discussing electoral reforms. He's trying to emasculate Ugandans and institutions as much as he possibly can, to the extent that now he is saying, yes, I've been rigging your vote, even according to the Supreme Court, but now 
I, I don't even want you to be there. So I want only five people there. I don't want your cameras there. I don't want your phones there. So it's not going to happen under President Museveni. Let's, let's not be okay. naive to Gentlemen, that. Gentlemen, uh, we have a shorter time significantly. Yes, Ivan, you can have uh, your say and then I'll read one or two messages and we'll get out of here. You know, Charles, uh, what we are saying, I mean, the, ad the, ad the, the arrival of people power in the political scene is a welcome uh, idea, uh, especially for the the strength of our democratic uh, aspirations and the fact that it gives many other people an option, uh, a political option. The challenge and something that, uh, that uh, my brother Joel here is evading is the fact that be beneath this uh, aura or this uh, facade of, of, of a movement or what, are ambitious people who have imagined to create an alternative political vehicle to compete with the, with the existing uh, opposition yeah, forces. President Museveni. For the, yeah. for the, for the, no, but also, most important, to compete for the, for the crown of the opposition. No, to no, become no, the no, no, opposition no, 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 no. We are not interested in no, being no, no, no. The, look, the look, We look, are interested look, in uh, the look. It does not, it does not, It does not matter, but like you said, we are observers and we are watching the trends. They uh, were announced on, on, on Wednesday, they, they, they assembled their team, the people's address, the FDC and, uh, read the state of the people address on just so the, you very, ask them. the very, the, 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 the very, the very next day. Beneath this uh, aura of uh, let's work together, let's work, let's work together, is inherent competition between the intra, uh, between the intra opposition for for the supremacy of the opposition and once that still exists you will have districts like you had nine of them uh, new but districts but i imagine but Ivan, there are no I, Ivan, uh, uh, I haven't had any member of the opposition say they have uh, defined their career objectives as to remain in the opposition they are yes. running for the for for for, for yes but, but if you're you, saying you, you're almost like ordaining you, you're like ordaining <laughs> saying by by, by uh, <laughs> that, that the nrm is uh, the party in power mm -hmm. and we remain like that mm -hmm. and all the others but remain if out. You are saying I'm they afraid, are, gentlemen, our time, is out, our time is out. We need to get out of here. I'll just take a message from, um, um, uh, this is uh, from my brother Duncan Agaba who says, um, people power should be an achievement of NRM where seeds of young revolutionaries keep sprouting in Uganda. Mm. It's normal for young people to see things differently mm. than the old. Until Uganda political class comes to terms with mentorship, we shall keep in circles of revolutions. Well, um, um, the difference is that we are not picking guns to kill people like no, the NRA and, and, and I think I want to disagree with him. You see, the people who benefited most mm. from mentorship mm. were the group of young people mm. who in uh, 1980 mm. contested for power mm. and then transformed into a rebel group mm. in 1981. S from the moment they took over, they haven't seen young people and they've been trying to close out young people for as long as possible. So you no, young no, no, people, it's not your time. Um, when when the the Rabob has no, come no, up, no. Uh, you relax, young man. Uh, it's the, not the, 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 well, the, the, the average the age of a uh, parliament okay. today is about 38. You know, um, you know, someone you know, says, uh, uh, good evening, uh, Charles. Uh, we had a movement system of governance before. Some people were not comfortable with the arrangement and pushed for multi-party <coughs> politics. Should we now say that some people are tired of multi-party politics? Lima, Sierra. In, mm. uh, the people who want us to take us back to the movement era. Yeah, but but people are full of, want, of, they want, they of actually um, almost all political parties in this country. At, at so. time is out, I'm being chased out of the studio. Uh, Honorable Zimbabwe, Kamwana, Mbeshe, Nsamba, ETC, are NRM as far as we are aware. That invalidates Ivan's point that people power didn't have any new faces at their event. Mm. Secondly, it's very disingenuous for anyone that sees how Uganda operates to expect opposition parties to successfully mobilize countrywide. The ground is not leveled. It's a fact. It's not level, and that's not easy to deal with because the president has the money, arms, and all institutions under tight grip. We can all talk and discuss about fantasies like creating grassroots structures, but actual impl implementation is not easy because one actor has too much power and will either stop you from creating such structures or will destroy them if you build them. It's the reality. Uh, thanks for the wonderful show and have a good, great night. Thank you. Um, uh, I will take one more message uh, that came in here from somebody in Ken Georgia who says, um, I thought in 2005 the country went through a referendum and Ugandans voted overwhelmingly to return to multi party politics. Yet Joel is now talking about a movement system. Yes, Joel what does that say about the, the political <laughs> event in this country? <laughs> What it's load do we break an an if we say let's political <laughs> parties you know, come power. together for a common agenda? Gentlemen, our time, time is out. We need parties. to get out of here. Thank you very much, Joel mm. Senyenyi, for making time for the show. Thank you very Thank much. You. Ivan Rugamba for making time for the show. Thank you very much to you, our viewers, for this wonderful feedback and your participation in this discussion.
um, uh, have a great, and of course I can't forget to thank our production crew that brings this show, stay up late to bring the show to you. The debate continues on our social media platforms, especially on uh, Twitter, Facebook, and of course on WhatsApp, because I can see some of the debate is already on WhatsApp groups. For me, it's a good night.